Hello there guys, this is Laxo here, and today I'm going to be opening a Monocentropus Balfouri egg sac. And yes, this is the female that I bred a couple months back, and I'll link the video on the top right. So if you have not seen that video, please go check it out. It was a really smooth pairing. So I want to apologize about the lighting. I know that the lighting made the tarantula appeared quite dull and dark, but she's actually a really beautiful blue. It's just that for some reason during the recording, the lighting didn't get through good enough to where the camera could pick it up. So I apologize for that. Anyhow, I finally get through to the sack and I pull it away from the female, which is going to lead to me opening it. And I apologize again because I kind of go off camera a little bit when I try to open this egg sack because it was a bit tricky. Now I want to talk about some things because a lot of people kind of ask me about this once in a while. They usually ask me how do I feel when I take an egg sack away from the mother. And honestly sometimes it feels kind of... You feel kind of guilty, but at the same time, you know it's for a good cause. But anyhow, back to the subject in terms of breeding. I find this species to be the easiest tarantula species I've ever worked with. And it's kind of, it's kind of funny because a lot of people always ask me, like, how do I breed the species? And I'm like, well, I don't know. It's just super easy for this species. What I don't understand is that here in the United States, this species is selling for around $40 a slink. And I personally think that price is an absolute ripoff, but I'm just a guy here, so everyone has their opinions, I guess. Now, for a beginner tarantula breeding project, I'm not saying this is one of them. So don't think this is an easy tarantula breeding project for this species. It's just that for an old world species, this is just one of the easiest in terms of breeding. Now I know someone asked me in one of my videos what's up with my accent and honestly I have a deep voice so it kind of affects my accent and I'm not really a southern person it's just that my Asian accent kind of gets in the way so that's why my voice kind of sounds like this but hopefully it doesn't sound too painful. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a full-born American, so I can speak English pretty good because I grew up with it, obviously. But, yeah, there goes one of, the, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot about my accent. I'm an Asian American, and yeah, I know this is taking quite a long time to open this x sac so hopefully it's not too boring. Because I'm trying to get some good commentary going on here. But if you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments. And I'll try to respond if I can. Now some people think I'm like an expert or something on tarantula breeding. And honestly, I'm not even close. Am I a tarantula breeder? Yes. Am I an expert? Not by a long shot. There's always room to grow and I'm certainly not confident on calling myself an expert. I don't think any tarantula keeper should call themselves an expert because you can't technically give yourself that title. You kind of have to earn it. I mean, that's how Asians been doing it with koi's, arowana, and pretty much any animal hobby they get their hands on. Titles are always earned. It's not given. But I can't say I'm experienced because there's a difference in the two. Some people tend to get experienced keepers and expert keepers confused and technically I think experienced keeper fits more to me than expert because I think expert is is too niche so I would never consider myself an expert trust me no matter how good I am I'm still gonna make mistakes everybody's gonna make mistakes we're still human but I digress and anyhow now we finally get to the egg sack and as you can see, this egg sac actually looks really good. There's only one bad egg and probably a couple infertile eggs. But overall, it looks like a healthy sac. So I'm really proud about that. And with that, I will update in the future. And I'll try to upload at least once a week. And 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, thumbs it up, kind of comment something, especially if you have questions. And please feel free to subscribe. And with that, stay lax and lax out.